the next question which we have is also very important and a highly conceptual problem we need to find the total number of ways of selecting five letters from the word independent and we also want to form the and we also want to find the total number of ways of forming five letter words from the letters selected now first of all we'll try to figure out what different letters or alphabets this word has this word independent has three ends it has three e's two d's one i one p and one t eight and three eleven so we take case one we want to make five letter words so our case one will be let's say all five different this can be done since there are six different alphabets so if we select any five out of these six we can make a word or we can select a five letters so the selection of these five letters which are all different can be made in 60 ways and the total number of words that can be formed are 65 into 5 factorial these five alphabets that we have selected can be arranged in five factorial ways to form the total number of words to be equal to 65 into 5 factorial and this 65 represents the total number of selections of five letters which are all different out of these six alphabets so this is 6 and this is 120 into 6 that is 720 we'll remember this now comes our case 2 our case 2 will be two alike and three different not two alike alphabets we can get from n e and d we can get 2n 2e and 2d so if we select any one out of these three we can get two alike alphabets so this 3c1 represents the selection of any one out of the alphabets n e or d not two alike alphabets have been selected we want three different now let's say we selected n so the alphabets which are remained are e d i p and t that is five and we need to select three out of these so this becomes 3c1 into 5c3 that is 5c3 is 10 into 330 and the words that can be formed are 3c1 or rather 30 into now these five alphabets need to be arranged and they can be arranged in five factorial upon two factorial ways since two alphabets are alike so total ways of arranging are 30 into five factorial upon two factorial so total number of words formed are this is 120 divided by 2 that is 60 into 30 1800 we will also remember this now comes our next case which is two alike alphabets two other alike alphabets and one different not two alike and two other alike will come from these three so if we select any two alphabets out of these three we can get two alike and two others alike alphabets hence this is 3c2 let's say we select n and e now we want want one different alphabet out of d i p and t so 4 c1 so this becomes 12 and the total number of ways of forming words are 12 into 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial 2 factorial because there are two sets of alike alphabets this is 120 divided by 4 that is 30 into 12 is 360 so we'll try to remember these two also we make a column over here first was 6 and 720 the second was 30 and 1800 and the third is 12 and 360 the first column represents the total number of ways of making selections of the five letters and the second column represents the number of ways of forming words now we can rub all this now comes our case 4 that is three alike and two different now three alike alphabets can be selected from n or e so this is 2c1 
let us say we selected n. So, the alphabets which remain are E, D, I, P and T that is 5 alphabets. Out of these 5 alphabets, we need to select 2. So, this is 5 C 2, this is 10 into 2 20 and the total number of ways of making words are 20 into 5 factorial upon 3 factorial. Since there are 3 alphabets same, this 5 factorial is 120 divided by 6 is 20, 20 into 20 is 400. Hence the next set is 20 and 400. Now comes our case 5 which is 3 alike, 2 others alike. So, in this case, when we want to select 3 alike and 2 others alike, we can have 3n, 2e, we can have 3n, 2d, we can have 2e, 2d or rather 3e and 2d or what we can have is 2n and 3e. So, these are the 4 cases possible over here and the number of words that can be found are 4 into 5 factorial upon 3 factorial, 2 factorial, this is 120 divided by 12 is 10. So, this is 4 and 40. So, the total number of ways of making selections are the addition of this which is 6 plus 4, 10, 30, 60 and 12, 72 and the total number of ways of making 5 lettered words is 3, 3, 2, 0 which is the summation of all these. Hence our final answers are 72 and 3, 3, 2, 0.